Hi guys, this is Esther Heber Soap Skincare and Lifestyle. I'm happy to be with you guys today. Today I'm dropping a very beautiful recipe on liquid soap. I am doing this in answer to a question by Amelia. She asked me to give her a recipe for liquid soap with mint, a herbal liquid soap with mint. And I'll be dropping two recipes, okay, especially the second one. It is a complete recipe, a very a working recipe, something you can even make and sell if you know how to do it well, okay? So please make sure you watch this video to the end. Stick with me to the end. There are actually three methods. The third one, I will drop it in another video later on, but I'll be dropping the formula. I'll be dropping, I'll be dropping the formulation. Okay, so please stay back with me. Okay, stay back and listen to this video to the very, very end. Okay, so once again, thank you, my subscribers. Thank you, my viewers. Thank you, my YouTube family. I love you all. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like my videos. And if you have any question, ask any question at all that you have on soap making. Even if it is a recipe you need, I am willing to calculate everything and drop for you. All I need you to do is ask me. I will pick the questions and then answer them. Okay, so now let's start. Now, to make a liquid soap, there are three different ways you can make it. Now, in the second method I'll be teaching you, this one involves some measurements. So before you start this method, you will need your scale. You will need your bowl, you will need your mixing stick, you will need your crock pot, you will need your timer, you will need your face marks to protect your nose from fumes, you will need hand gloves, and if possible, you have to protect, wear a protective clothing and protective shoes, okay? What else would you need? As I, as I tell you what you will do anyway, you'll be, I'll be listing some of the materials, okay? But for the ones I can remember now, these are the ones you need. Now, for this method, we are making a true liquid soap. We are not making a synthetic-based liquid soap. We are making a true liquid soap. And this kind of liquid soap, you could use it as a shampoo. You can use it as a body wash. You could use it as a hand wash. You could use it as a face wash. So this recipe is... Mwah. Okay, so don't be joking with my recipes or any, any kind of soap in this world at all that you want. Just tell me, I'll tell you how to do it. Okay, no shaking. So let's continue. So for this soap now, we'll be using coconut oil and sunflower oil. Now we'll be using 250 ml of it. Your sunflower oil, 250 ml. And for these two oils, I've already done the calculations, you will be needing... Potassium hydroxide. Note this. We are not using sodium hydroxide. Remember, you use sodium hydroxide only if you are use if you are making a hard bar, a solid bar. Okay, but we are making soft soap. We are making liquid soap. It is from our soft soap that we get our liquid soap. So we are going to use potassium hydroxide. Okay, potassium hydroxide. So now the potassium hydroxide that we'll be using is. 115 grams of potassium hydroxide and 267 ml of water. So how will we do this? First, make sure that you are in a well-ventilated environment. Make sure there are no children close by. Okay? Pour in your potassium hydroxide flakes into the water. Mix, mix, mix and allow it to dissolve completely. After it has dissolved, you now carry your oils. That is a mixture of coconut oil and sunflower oil. Pour into this your lye water. This is now your lye water, okay? Only that this your lye this time around is made of what? Potassium hydroxide. But it is still lye nevertheless. So remember, it is caustic. Don't joke with it. It can still burn just like sodium hydroxide. With. So you now pour your oils. You now pour your oils into this lye water. Mix it up. With your hand first. Mm? Mix it up with your hand first. Then before you now stick blend. 
after you stick blend it you now pour it you now pour it into your crock pot hmm? pour it into your crock pot and then steer on the flame at low don't don't put the flame too high put it low then be cooking it but even as you're cooking it don't go too far hmm? because you might end up cooking for a long time use a timer time it cook it for at least two hours hmm? as you're cooking it be coming close be coming around stirring go away come back later stir go away and make sure you keep your crock pot covered so that you don't end up losing the little water that you're using to cook your soap you don't end up losing it off to evaporation even though it to dry out your soap too fast so you cover it okay you cover your pot stir go come stir you keep on stir cooking until your soap becomes clear your soap becomes cooked you you keep on stirring until your soap becomes jelly like okay that is when you know your soap is well cooked it becomes jelly like so now when your soap becomes jelly like you cover it again for some few minutes just to be on the safe side for some few minutes you still cover it up and then leave it for just some few minutes before you now open it up if you're not using a big crock pot um, um if you're not using a big crock pot you can now use a bigger container pour your soap into this bigger container that has a lid Okay, then add some extra distilled water to this soap that you just made. Don't use any how kind of water. Okay, remember in our first video, we talked about contaminants in water, especially hard water, your magnesium, your calcium ions, they can affect your soap, isn't it? So, so pour distilled water into this soap, just enough to cover the soap, not too much. If you put in too much liquid soap might end up being too watery okay so just put enough to cover it so that later on you can add the water and adjust it to the thickness that you want so just enough to cover it and then you leave it for 24 hours okay you leave it for 24 hours after 24 hours you find out that most of your soap have dissolved and it will be clear under the under your container the undissolved one will be floating on top you can actually scoop out this undissolved one put it back into your crock pot add hot water to it and cook it again until it dissolved dissolves okay but if you have the patience you can just add in a little bit more water to it cover it again and leave it for some time if you have the patience okay that means you might end up leaving it for about you might end up leaving it for about 48 hours now at this point you can put in your glycerin just a little bit you can put in your essential oils you can now put in your mint extract mix it up you see that your soap will look clear add in your preservative also your preservative you can put it at one percent okay you can use otipen you can use gamma plus okay some people use parabens but there are concerns health concerns on parabens okay but all i know is i just put in your preservative okay and your liquid soap is ready that is a true liquid soap a good liquid soap that does not have effect on the body okay now there's something i forgot also to add a way you would test your soap when your soap turns the way you test your soap when your soap turns to jelly in the pot is by scooping a little bit out of that your soap in the pot mix it a little bit with water if it turns clear in the water if you mix it up and it is clear in the water you know that you know that your liquid soap is ready you can now pour it into your container add water to it at least enough water to cover it up and then stir it a little bit and then leave it for 24 hours okay so if at this point you watch my video up to this point i'm very very grateful please don't forget once again subscribe to my channel i love you guys like kilo d eh? see you in my next video emilia i hope you're happy now i've answered your question if you have any other question 
still ask if anybody else have another question ask i'm always willing to answer your questions for you see ya child